Hello everyone. Welcome to iExambi. Today we have another expert talk session for you uh, and a very special guest also with us. Uh, we have with us Ms. Kaushalya Ravichandra. She is uh, ex former CGM from the DEPR department of RBI and today she has graciously agreed to spend time to answer your queries, to tell you about the DEPR department and the profile of the uh, candidates and how you can make a career and grow in RBI uh, in this particular department. So thank you, ma'am, for joining us today and a very, very warm welcome uh, on iExam B platform. My pleasure. So let's see how it goes. <laughs> thank you, ma'am. So um, uh, ma'am had joined, a uh, brief introduction about ma'am. Ma'am had joined RBI as a direct recruit in 1988 in the DEPR research department. Uh, she has spent around 32 years in RBI across various departments, uh, including research where her area, uh, she's worked in again various areas, including international finance, balance of payments, monetary policy, uh, public finance, uh, public debt management and all. And she's also worked in various operational departments like the deposit insurance uh, uh, and all. So uh, a very, very rich experience. She has been uh, you know, a part of the various research reports and the regular reports that that are we see so uh, nicely made and common like the RBA annual report. I'm sure all of you are reading that for your interviews right now. So uh, this department is the think tank uh, which is giving out these uh, brilliant uh, research reports and uh, report, regular reports also. Ma'am has also been very regularly uh, representing and in discussions on various international forums including World Bank, IMF, uh, and various other international agencies. So I think it's a, going to be a very, very interesting discussion with ma'am today. And we'll try to get as much of a wisdom as possible in this session today. Okay. Sure. Yeah. So ma'am, so to start with a very, very basic and simple question, how have these 32 years in RBI been like for you? Yeah, to put it in a simplistic fashion, it was very satisfying, very fulfilling, and enriching. You know, it's a premier institution. And to be an economist in one of the biggest department, the economics department, which is in a house in RBI, you have general side, but you have a huge economics department. Earlier, economics department and statistics were one department. Then it got carved out separately. So, and then being in economics department, since you know the theory, and slowly you move up, and then the theory helps you to move out to other departments, to operational departments. Mm. Then it helps out to work with government. You work for economic survey. You work for any of those reports of the government. So these are, you know, very enriching experiences which you won't get anywhere. So that way I have, in the beginning of my career, I was, I faced the 1991 uh, DOP crisis. Yeah. And you won't believe I had just joined and I used to have to go to deputy governor. Those days, deputy governors only were four. And as a great be straight going to deputy governor, daily showing him what was the permission to have received and sent. If you know the background, we just had about six weeks or four weeks of foreign exchange. So the crisis management, that time we learned what it is. So there are so many such crises which we have encountered. So that time you feel you're part of, you know, contributing the policy. The earthquake is earthquake in Gujarat help us to work out crisis management, how to supply money to immediately to Gujarat, you know, what is the credit we can give. We need to work out different, something abnormal policy from the normal usual. So these sort of things, you know, gives you satisfaction. Wow. The, uh, yeah, I didn't realize this. Yeah, you would have actually been a, uh, seen the time of 1991, such a crucial and we've totally turned around our economy since then. Uh, and to be in the thick and thin of that event, uh, uh, we, we were just kids and maybe many of us were not even born that time. To read it and experience it, I'm sure it must have been so much uh, different. Uh, so one instant of that is we had kept gold with Bank of Japan and Bank of England. And in the train, when we, Mumbai have to travel by train in the initial days, yeah. people talking, are a gold is That means imagine, when do you keep gold? Yeah. The most distressed state. So in the train, I have to, I used to brief them. Suppose we default on repayment, mm -hmm. our credibility will go in international market. Now we have saved that. 
after that, you know, there's a lot of confidence in government of India. You know, yes. I had to tell them at home it's like that. You keep gold in the last distress. Yes, exactly. That's what I was thinking. When we have to take out gold in a household in India, I think that's the biggest sign that uh, yeah, of any kind of distress. Yeah, pawnbroker is something in a distress state. So even the government of India, these people are comparing that in the train journey. I should come and tell my boss. So a conversation on a train may just imagine. But since I was on that side, I could give some inputs to these people, and that used to spread a bit. And next day they would ask me. So that was something great to interact, you know, and give them the inputs. Like I, I mean, I can go on. Let's stop this because you have started this. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I think you kind of answered it. I, I wanted to know what is special about the research and being an economist as compared to say, uh, joining as a general, uh, generalist in RBI. See, every uh, department, general side, all the statistic department, economics department has it's got its own huge role, huge role. But being an economist, you have a theory background of economics. The whole economy works on economics on theory, right? Yeah. Which sometimes general side, but they do come with a big background. They come with some physics, English, and they do excellently well in general side. I have interacted with them. So I would not demean them. They are also doing excellent work. But being an economist, you know theory, and then you work in economics department. Take that, and then go to the general side. That gives you a plus, a lot of plus, you know. And nowadays, like internet is there. Earlier, you have only books. Books. Yeah. So it was very really difficult to call out stuff and all that. So this theory, how you work in these reports, annual report, banking report, trend and progress is done by Depper. All the reports are done by Depper. So yeah. you work there, you get a lot of insights, which is not written recorded. When you come to reports, I'll tell you, I was an annual report in the fag end of my. I was a part of annual report throughout as a part of it, but I had to head it. That time it was something different, cup of tea, something different. Right. Yeah. So like, being an economist, being an economics department, is something you and then you interact with. So many top management because of policy making. You put up all the policy notes. You put up all the inputs, background material, quantitative techniques. You work out all that. Okay, and then one thing I've seen in economics department, any department, I would not like to say that. See, it's very progressive. You put up something fine first time. They may not like it second time. Suggest suggestions. They may like it. Became it may become a part of the policy. This yeah. gold policy, which came sovereign bond and other gold free yeah. policies were introduced, but part of one of the papers of the per person. So there are so many such things which come out. Even general side comes out with paper. It's all now it's become easy. Then you can, you know, you have a lot of meeting one to one with the governor. You have a lot of meeting with them in the meeting monetary policy meeting. You meet so many people. You have IMF, World Bank meeting, BIS meeting. All these institutions meeting are done by the per, and you sit there. Suppose I'm taking care of, you know, some banking division of Depper, or I'm in the growth division. I take my inputs there and appraise them. Yeah. They have a meeting with government, but in yeah, RBI right. it is always with the uh, Depper. We only, you know, conduct these meetings. So in the fag end, I mean, last five seven years I used to do this. So there you get an overview. You have to appraise them. They have come with tough questions. So these sort of interactions you get a lot. Wow. So I'm sure it's so so enriching, you know, with the top people, think tanks. You're interacting uh, on a on a regular basis, daily basis, sometimes. Yes. So I'm sure it's very very enriching and fulfilling and motivating yes. to what you are doing. Because if you are able to see the results of uh, mm. your work, yes. uh, that's I think that's the biggest motivation yeah. uh, one can get. Yeah. So yeah, and that's, if you're strong with your macroeconomy. You know some of the policy inputs needs to come from micro, and you know all those variables which are interacting in the economy. You study those. Some of your strength, you come out with that, and you put it up. You know, some way it goes up, and even one percent of your note is taken. Something great for you, and it great. remains with your name. It True. remains with your name. So nowadays, this currency finance and bulletin, and even I think some other reports, they are publishing the name of the person also. Like if you've done one box with a lot of quantitative work and you've worked out something, it comes with the name. So it's very enriching. Like it is yeah. something I would say it's a dream job. <laughs> and it's very so transparent, you know, that uh, nobody you are getting full credit and uh, you are also seeing. 
So I'm sure uh, as an employee or if anybody is working in an organization, that's that's something uh, anybody craves for. We may not realize the importance initially, but these are things that uh, make so much of a difference. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's why RBI is what it is, <laughs> I'm sure. Uh, such a dream organization for so many candidates, so many aspirants uh, yes. today. Uh, so, ma'am, you were talking about these reports that so much work goes into. So, if I have to really uh, ask you how much work goes on, because now we, I don't know that time, uh, uh, but now we see so many reports. There are weekly basis reports, there are monthly basis, bi monthly, uh, uh, you know, they come in six months. And of course, there's the annual report, the financial stability report, uh, and all. So, there are so many reports that are being made. And I think uh, as a reader of these reports, myself, what I have, what I've really liked about them is that they are simple to understand. They are easy to read. Uh, there are so many less jargons. Uh, and it's, it's actually telling me, uh, I've, at least we are able to understand what's really going in the economy. Mm-hmm. So I'm sure making things simple is so much more difficult. So what goes on in making of these reports? What's the thought process and what inputs... Uh, you all are giving in. Thank you so much for giving the feedback that you are appreciating the report and it is, you know, it reaches the layman. If you are able to understand that, sure, down, down, down below the layman can also understand. Students too can understand. Yes, students See, too understand. You are a little up, but I'm saying down students too can understand financial yes. stability report. And if you take even trend and progress, you take annual report. Annual report because the government is also there. I was heading annual report as part of annual report. You have to be part of annual report throughout your career. If you are a part of DEPR, if you are part of any department of RPI, be it general side, be it statistical, anywhere else, there's a government department in the RBI because we are bankers to the government, both state government and central government. So you have to be part of the annual report. Every person, every department is part of the annual report. So the general side is equally involved or more. Okay. So they have to write their piece. They send it across to Depper. Depper does the entire coordination. Depper writes its own chapter. Depper writes the first two uh, chapters. Also the summary and how the layout and how it should change. We have changed in between the layout, if you have noticed. Yeah. Yes. We have started giving up, you know, abstract on top before it yes. was not there. Yeah. I think about five, seven years back, we yeah. started the abstract. So you get the pulse or the... Exactly. You know, Huh. the punchline of the chapter. So sure. if you read that, you get the story of that particular like public debt. Yes. The punchline, how the market behaved and what all we had to encounter to raise the money for the government. So that two line summarizes the chapter. Then you explain the whole chapter. So if you read that, so but there's no many layers being put up and again redrafted, all that goes into it. It's a huge, what to say, what the word I'm getting is a huge task. Annual report is a different cup of tea because it's the central board report. So it's like the government of India people also represent in the meeting. There are three meetings taking place where these are, you know, refined and refined and comments and that. Everything has to be, you know, ironed out. So we go back to the parent department and RBA has got, I mean, the has got an extra thing because you have to see cross chapter, like financial market, monetary mm-hmm. policy, public debt. These three chapters have a lot of cross work. So the cross chapter has to be seen by Depot. So there's a lot. Of, and I was part of state finance, which report you have mentioned yeah. earlier also. I worked for five, seven. That's also a huge task. Only RBI started first consolidating all the 31 state governments. 30 plus for each of these, it's got its own legislative. And it's a big, like a hot potato itself. IMF, World Bank, all these international even each state government, they don't enter the legislation without this report. You know, at one place, they get what happens between all the governments, state governments, how much they spend on development expenditure or development revenue. All that you get at one place. And RBA DEPR is the only one which publishes combined finances of central and state governments. So these are, you know, slowly we do all these things. So report making is a huge task. It's a part of, keeps going on, you know. But you can see the calendar. This comes in November. Annual report comes. Now they've shifted to March. Earlier it was June. Now June. we have entirely changed. So then yeah. currency finance comes in December. So we have faced out the people. Faced out the people have time. Time to wait. Yeah. 
Sure. Great, great. Um, I a very interesting question has come up. Uh, so if you talk about Dipper uh, and RBI, and if you talk about the Indian Economic Services, uh, which one uh, can be preferred? And what would your suggestions be about this? If you have to draw any kind of comparisons, how would you compare, compare these two as career uh, choices? See, I have not been on that side. But I have seen people quitting there and coming here. I've seen people quitting RBI and going there. Yeah. So it's their priority what they want. But this is a professional organization. And then you work in various departments. You go to general side also you work. And you get a lot of avenues, opportunities to go. You know, you can either work in domestic various institutions. You can go abroad. There are many people who have gone to IMF, World Bank, and then they got absorbed there. They go for three years or something. BIs, there are many people. So these opportunities are there. You can also go for study leave. You can also go for deputation. You can also go for PhDs. And we also have a different pattern. For one year, you just go and study. You get a huge money. Just go and do one year MBA or whatever type you choose. Everything is left to you. So those sort of avenues are also there. So these two comparisons, I would refrain from making it more detailed. But there have been like, you know, both sides switching. Both sides. Okay. Okay. So, ma'am, you mentioned like, you know, there are opportunities uh, to go in international forums like at IMF and you yourself have been in, on so many. Uh, so, when does one get such opportunities? Uh, what time of how much time would they have spent uh, when they start getting these opportunities? See, when those days it was difficult, you would get it after five years or so. Now it's very difficult, very easy. People go in two years. They okay. go for a conference. Or they go for some meeting. Mm -hmm. And then suppose you're going to Washington. Yeah. And you can take some other two countries and then there is a like this flexibility given by RBI. Since you've gone abroad, spent so much and RBI has spent, you go there on the way you meet two countries. Suppose I was working in public finance. I go, I met like I went to Canada and I had a meeting with this their finance secretary and all the finance ministry there. Then I came back to London and I went to Commonwealth Secretary where they do this data collection and all that. So we were doing data collection in state finances. So I got an idea about that, how they do the data. You know, on public debt, they do data collection and all that. So this sort your area of work. To most countries, you can visit and you can come. So just after two years nowadays, people are getting it. Both DEPR and general side and statistics. There are various other departments. I don't want to go into it. But yeah. these are the major departments. There are so many, like Hindi department, library. There are so many others. Mm -hmm. So you, within two years of service, because opportunities are more now. Earlier, because we have explored. Like, just yeah. to say, I had to take care of library. Suddenly, the librarian died. And I was proxy to, I don't know why, because I was sitting near that or something. They gave me that. I, I introduced for them foreign training, and they were very happy. So you take out, you know. It was kept as a, you know, cold storage. I said, you take it out. Why your department alone? You should have some motivation. Library is a small department. It's very difficult to go up. And I said, you take it out. And I said, sir, they should also have some motivation. It went up. And from my time, I saw people are going left and right, Washington, New York, everywhere they went, they visited. You know, and we have one of the biggest library. So they, and they have across India. So it's all connected. You can get book from anywhere. Then they started going. So we also find out. Now it's become like that. You know, people find out themselves, your area of work, where the conference is going on, where the meeting is going on, something is going on. You can't put it up. And it is taken. So both ways. I also suggest you can also. Yes. yes that flexibility is now off late the past 10, 15 years. That is. You know, so, uh, you know, that reminds me of another conversation I have once had with another guest of ours, Mr. Prashant uh, uh, Saran. He was also telling us. Um, you know, we, we can find opportunities in RBI. We, the only thing required from our end is open eyes, open ears, and an open mindset. Uh, yeah. and, and like you just mentioned, I, I just, it just struck me how he was telling that uh, if, uh, if we had a closed mind and one of his postings initially he had, he really didn't have a work or a desk even to sit at. But then he start, he used the library, the content, the files to understand that department. And in few months, he was, you know, uh, know it all about that in, uh, department. So, uh, and when you mentioned about this library department, it is about, you know, carving out the opportunity. 
so uh, there's you are sitting in the place the mecca of information and if we cannot carve out uh, opportunities there i think then nowhere we will be able to yeah, so yeah. Uh, that's that's great. Uh, it's great to hear. Mind, I just said no. Since when we joined, we had such support. You want to give it down as you go up. You also yeah. want to, you know, send it down, percolate it down. That's yes. how it is. Okay, um, ma'am. You, uh, uh, we had this conversation about public debt more and often, and even before uh, this session, we were discussing about it. So the very and similar thing has come on our chat also that that reminded me uh, for RBI debt, public debt management, and monetary policy. You know, somewhere there is a conflict uh, in trying to manage both these roles. How does RBI uh, continue to do it so nicely, uh, managing both these aspects? An excellent question. It's a good, I expected, and you have raised it, and you got it in chat. That means it's a historical question that is true. Yeah. We are bank managers to government, as I said, and we are also debt managers, and we also give them policy guidance. Now it's become different, but we also indirectly to state governments. And as you said, I had gone for a panel discussion to World Bank where we were chosen because we have this pattern. And along with me, there were two, three countries which had this sort of pattern. And there was one, Denmark. I think Denmark was Sweden. I'm sorry, I'm not able to remember. They had one deputy governor managing both the departments. In RBA, there are two different deputy governors, one for the monetary policy and one for the public debt. But they do sit for the monetary policy discussion, all that goes on. Both are housed in one. Ultimately, they are all both housed here in this department, but they do meet. Of late, I think past 10 years, our earlier debt management was, was more dormant and more kind of, you know, interaction to the Reserve Bank and investors, banks, you know, who are the investors in government bonds. It's the bankers and other various financial institutions. But now it's all become very open. So on the day of the monetary policy, uh, we don't do any market borrowing. You see, you're influenced by that day, what rate cut you are going to take, or you're going to increase the rate. All these things play in your mind. For the deputy governor of public debt to take a call on the rate of market borrowing and the cutoff that is the price of market borrowing so he's already in the part of the monetary policy meetings and all that and he has to do justice to the government also we have to borrow at as low a rate as possible for the government so past about i think seven eight years since that uh, opening up of the economy financial sector nasima rao committee and all followed so many changes came about in public debt so we do not have any market borrowing on that day of monetary policy so that everything ebbs and the market is aware of it, what has been done, and all. And the next day the tone is set. And then we start the day. We not, you know, iron out anything if there is somewhere in there. But it goes out beautifully. And to give you one more, we are on the 23rd floor public debt of RBI. And yeah. 24 is monetary policy. <laughs> the monetary policy department is just above us. <laughs> and, but we have to interact every day morning. We have a called as financial market sector meeting where every day financial market, everybody comes. So there's a lot of you know inputs exchange. There's so many things. So we have to and our own people are housed everywhere. So that's a unique setup, but it works very smoothly, very well. Yeah. Great, great. And uh, I'll come back to uh, another point that uh, in the previous question, because this came in chat, so I asked this in between. Uh, Ma'am, when you were telling about that uh, people can get opportunities to go on international conferences and forums, uh, you were also mentioning there are opportunities to uh, do uh, one-year courses or uh, PhD or any foreign university courses also. So uh, again, are these available to all people or are there any eligibility uh, requirement for being able to avail these? See, everything has got different, different eligibility. There is this to go and study abroad. There are schemes like Golden Jubilee. That is given for two years. You get a huge um, amount of money in dollars and you can be there and go choose your area and choose your state, university, what you want. But eligibility criteria is you need to put up a synopsis. In area, if you're in banking, you want to go do in banking, and you have to put up your synopsis, and there is a panel who will interview you. So that's a very fair game because there are so many people applying. Similarly, down below, that's called Silver Jubilee. It was for six months or one year. There was a good amount of money where you can just go and some university interact for six months and work like people go to Bank of England and various places. That is also there. 
these are what studies. When you have a study leave, you have got admission somewhere in foreign university, you can take study leave and go yourself. Or you can go for PhD there, they give you five year leave and you can study and come back to your you know, parent department wherever you are. So those studies are there. There's also deputation, which you can go to World Bank, BIS, even IADI, deposit tradition, did I, I did not, but there was an opportunity to IADI at Switzerland. It's like BI is for banking, IADI is for the deposit insurance. <laughs> and we are one of the oldest depositors after FDIC. So there also there's a lot of deputation. You can go for three years, work there, come back. People get absorbed. So many people who have gone to IMF have got absorbed there. So that works differently of what money you've taken and gone. There are some small, small things like that. You please edit on this. So those things are there. So that opportunity is also there. You can also go for domestic institutions also, but you need to get a higher pay from there, I heard. You can't get lower than what you get here. Okay. So studying, like you can go to IGRD to do your PhD. You can go to IIT. There are exams. You write that. You clear. There's nothing like that. You just write your exams, clear it, do your coursework. They give you that leave period for six months with salary or something like that. I'm not sure. You can go do your six months course there, come back and do your PhD. Write wow. your, you know, thesis and all that. So that any university you can choose. IIT and Indira Gandhi Institute is famous. People go there. People go to even that uh, in Kerala, there's one. You know, they go there also. So okay. there are many, many opportunities. You can take it out and put it up. You know, in yeah. that, in IIT, I remember one of my boss, we had just joined and he was just joined before me. He only took out and he put it up and it was approved. And then many people are going now left and right, they're going. And your house staying there only, and you get six months course leave, and you get again course one year or two years to, to submit your PhD thesis. Wow, so it's very flexible, like, you know. Very nice, very yeah. friendly sort, you know, employee friendly. Like. So there is yes. a lot of opportunities out there, and they also have your short stint in your department. Suppose you're in monetary policy, very good, and all that. If there is some Bank of England, many have gone for monetary policy. You go and learn the how the monetary policy is being, you know carved out, how they look at rates, what all surveys they collect, what are the interaction, what are the meetings, all that. They go to Bank of England, they go to Bank of, you know, Bank G Paris, but that they have many places you can go for stint, six months stint. Okay. So, uh, ma'am, we had a lot of queries from students also regarding this year's uh, process. So, uh, to give you a background, this year uh, recruitment process is still underway uh, for the DEPA department, and the written exam happened in the first week of August. Uh, the results are still awaited uh, for for the written exam, but the next next uh, phase will be the interview phase. And you have been on the board of selection uh, for both internal and external candidates. Uh, so, ma'am, uh, my question is, and students' questions is, what is the panel expecting or looking for in candidates? Uh, especially, uh, I will talk about the EPR department. Yeah, you told me that some people went to Depper or general side. You said so. General, uh, as of now, they are going on uh, the interviews. Some people uh, have entered, right? RBI. Yes, 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 yes. So it's actually a panel about five people or six people. There is one IAS uh, chairman, and there is an economist, there is a general side person, there's a banking. There's a varied, you know, from different areas they bring out and they represent that. So what I would say, please study your biodata properly. Even if you put a full stop, you should be thorough. Don't say I did that five years back or three years back. I'm not in touch with that. You know, suppose you've done. Yes. Something I had done long back in EPW on Finance Commission. After that, after 10 Finance Commission, I lost touch. So when I had to go for my higher interview, I have to read up the latest Finance Commissions because that's yeah. the paper appearing in my bio data. So yeah. any area like banking, please read up the latest developments in that area. Suppose you've done financial market, stock market, and all that. Please see something. Maybe it has brought up some new circulars notification. You should be updated with that. Only related to your papers. You know, what you have mentioned, yeah. the area of work, your banking, your fiscal, or payment systems, or you've done a lot in growth, or prices, please see the latest. And then please read the pink papers, any one paper, at least two months before your interview. Keep reading. Make it a habit forever, I would say. So oh, that yeah. you continue to, you know, suddenly you start reading pink papers. It's difficult. 
to mm-hmm. keep reading always so slowly slowly you start connecting yourself to the latest develop tab pata nahi padta hai but slowly padte padte in the mind you know yes oh, this level is like this or this is happening like this or the monetary policy has done this that this. and sometimes the chairman he is a general person he is an ias i don't know now the system has changed yes, please yes. read up something related to your anything from world bank site especially imf site even imf papers are so simple so well put through you know it's it's a, it's really enjoying enjoyment to read those papers it's very well written you know some spanish or some foreign some people right i mean that government central government bank or something so kindly something and just see the front page you would have got something you know tidbit oh yeah this is yeah. this is banking this is financial market just read up two lines so you are not drawing blank you can always connect it to that if the straight question he talks he said you can always say no i read up this paper but i think i missed that That's yeah so never bluff because he knows yeah, no bluff true true you know, true you can always say this far i know something related to that yes sir i saw it in imf site something on this but that i think i overlooked or it was not noticed by me that much so you have to cover it up and economic affairs you have to read up and sometimes they ask i have even internal i have taken care suppose case studies like monetary policy is out mm-hmm. let me give you a case study now tell me if you are the governor or you are part of the monetary policy what is your view mm-hmm. nobody is going to judge you you are right or wrong take a call plus justify the call i would say no rate increase should have been there because prices are going up that is going up petrol is going up so generalized inflation is going up you know that way or you yeah. say no rate should have been kept constant because the saving rates are very low and pensioners are suffering so some justification two three lines you read paper to get it yes so i have to read yeah. your brains you know this is the monetary policy just see take a call or what you have thought is there a supporting point so he understands yes he knows yeah. See, they know, understand and um, this shows that you were thinking you can analyze and you can actually come out with a uh, thought process even if it is right or wrong that will come in later first it is important that we are able to logic think logic there logic yeah. you able to say it and justify the logic should come oh. in any case so that way you have to uh, you know prepare and in your area related that i have noticed some people have passed three times exams and they're not able to and see yeah. you know your by data well okay articulation is very important right. you should articulate so i'm just very chin for that yes sorry uh, uh yeah, yeah sorry i so uh, ma'am when you mentioned uh, you know bio data it's very important what you read articulation and then there have been people who passed written exams 3 3 times and still don't make it in the interview so uh, uh, i think what that states it's not just about the knowledge uh, there right so it's also about don't, other don't tell them they will be depressed yeah <laughs> no no don't no no no, no ma'am we we try to guide them because this is important and that's why uh, uh, you know apart from the technical skills uh, what are the other hr related or the softer skills which Uh, students should prepare on and take seriously while preparing for interview what do you mean uh, i meant articulation okay uh, can they not going to ask you uh, you know computer blah blah or something no 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 uh, skills like you know uh, answering questions like uh, uh, what your strength areas are what your weaknesses are what your interests or hobbies are so uh, things uh, like these how yeah. does one prepare for them or uh, answer them See, it's excellent if they ask you what is your strength. Please come out and please put it across. What is the area of strength? What you have worked on? Please don't fluff. Don't go for very decorative, flowery areas. What you know it can be very. They are also observing you. You know, they can easily find out. Hey, make it as simplistic as simple area. Also, you can say, I have done some work on prices, sir. I have looked at this, looked at that. You go a little extra till he says, okay. that area you see more and more so he gets immediately oh that area you have done some work and he gets a hint to ask from that area sure still okay, like i said long back somebody said just economy don't give a very vague answer economy be very specific and you are opening up that person to ask you in this area which is your core strength to invite him to ask you in the core strength that is important and why i say articulation this has been my forte till the last 
okay when you're just walking or walking in the evening somewhere just keep asking questions and answer it char line at least mentally you answer it that's enough keep articulating likhe rakhne se kuch nahi hota you keep writing in a notebook it doesn't work i go blank after i keep writing and preparing in notebook but i go blank like off the thing i think this is all recorded no you can't edit or something like that no no huh? And no, no, we can't edit it. Yeah. <laughs> so then I don't want to go beyond that. So keep articulating it. Keep asking yourself questions. Prices. If you ask me this, this will be my answer. At least four lines. Then you may, you know, bring out your knowledge of what you have written it down. But keep yes. asking, asking. And this is somebody told me my senior, and that habit has helped me forever. In any area. I mean, any area like monetary policy, fiscal policy, or your growth area. If you have studied on that. Just keep asking. If me, he will ask. So this question, if they ask me, what do I say? It or if he connects it to that, if he connects to that, then you try to bring in some, you know, some speech of governors or something or that two lines you try to put. And one more HR, they may ask you, what is the latest book you have read, which area, and that in that book you should know at least say four lines. Okay. Just keep it as a summary. Okay. Of that. You can have your related okay. area. You can say some articles I have read recently, sir, and you can bring the article. And keep some summary for five lines of that. If he has read, he'll ask you something. So don't bluff there. That's usually asked. And sometimes mm-hmm. they ask you, "Are you ready to go anywhere in the state, in the country?" You should say, "I'm open to move anywhere." But economics department is usually housed only in Mumbai. We do have regional offices here, there, and all that. But that they don't insist. I mean, it goes, you know, out of you know mutual consent also. But you are housed where the governor is there, where policy making is taken. So mostly your house there, but you should be open to move out as well. That is it. Ma'am, some students are get worried uh, if they have some gap years, uh, you know, after their education, or they may if they don't have any experience, uh, you know, work ex uh, work experience per se. So should they be worried about those aspects? See, experience is not at all a disqualification. There are freshers who are just twenty one. Who have been, you know, they've joined the bank. There are many. I've seen my juniors and I've seen my seniors, many juniors. So experience don't take it as a minus point at all. So take out from your mind that experience. Gap years, you should justify. You passed about five years back. Were you doing some research? That's great. You can justify. I worked in so many of N C R T or whatever your work, or you were teaching in some college, or you did some research internship. That will be great. To justify and to support your cause of gap, or you are preparing for some exam, and please list it out. You are preparing for CBE exam or NABARD exam, IRD, IRD, PFRD. You please list out that I was doing that. I was preparing this, or I was strengthening my area of like econometrics. I wanted to learn, so I went for that coursework. But it should be truth. You cannot, you know, just pin something and then you will be caught. There will be somebody. So. Be careful about that. So gap years, you have to see this, this, this. Pull out. You may have. What were you doing? You know, pull out. There was one boy not in the, here outside who was involved in some project. The project never took off, but he was able to rattle off on the project. He just told that with four years, and he got an I M Kohli course, and he got absorbed somewhere. So I'm saying, you must be doing something. You won't be sitting quietly. You must be doing yeah. So some you know skills or something development something course then you please be frank but please know about that they will ask you, please elaborate please there is no explicit so you need to you know elaborate and convince them they will be convinced they can easily see the truth both lies and truth so that is there okay. experience is not a disqualification yes you have to, don't have to worry about experience. And you are already experienced working some other organization. Be prepared about that organization. Pull out some positives about that, and they may ask you why you're moving from there to here. Suppose that's also a huge, you know, financial institutions or India's premier institution. Then you should be able to support it. Why you're moving to here? That question will be asked. So please prepare that also. There are many who have moved my batchmates. Yes. But they move from a lower institution to bigger institution, so it is easy to justify. But Please see that you justify that properly. Keep all these questions keep coming. That time you can't frame it. Exactly. 
Right. So that that's where the articulation and framing and structuring helps. You have to give it a thought. So uh, if I summarize for the benefit of students, you know, for your interview, bio data is very very important. Some very key points which Ma'am has said, and I was writing down. Uh, we don't have to forget at all. One is your bio data. Keep reading as many research papers as possible. Do not bluff. Do not be dishonest at any point. Whatever things are, we have to be able to confidently. manage them articulate them well and structure them well so uh, we can justify any of the things that we've done uh, but they should be truthful and nicely presented uh, to you know logically support whatever decisions you've taken uh, about your life um, so i i think these are very golden words uh, and all these students who, who are now looking forward to, for their interviews uh, this will really help them Uh, Ma'am, uh, uh, one last question. I've taken a lot of your time. One last question uh, for the students. Uh, since the results are not out yet, uh, what is your suggestion? They should be use use uh, using this time. Should they be waiting for the result to start their interview preparation, or they should get into it right away? Right away, right away. Let's see the results later. If you pass, I mean, you have passed. That itself will help the mile you've crossed. So be very comfortable. Be confident. that you cross that confidence should come and you're sitting in front of them they want to see you there's one of the some other meeting some other interview somewhere else they said and how will he face some meeting people from international institution he pays on you know he's mm. passed an exam and come all india institution he's passed the exam and come he should have that confidence you should be seen on him so be confident because they're not going to you know rip you off never they're going to ask you what you know Yes, this was told by one of my deputy. You know, like what you know, you should know. What you don't know, we are not going to ask you. You can ask me reverse. Even I will not know so many things. So they are not good. So be comfortable and be confident. And there are areas you may not know. So that's why yes. I say, please reading the public, uh, this thing, all these uh, the standards and all those papers you read. If your area is related to something government, kindly go to government site and see some reports are out. You will get some points. You just have to get three, four points or something. Go to the IMF site, World Bank, just one or two institution. Not if it is banking, please go to BIS. Go to the RBI site. Reports are there. I'm not asking you to hunt out all the reports. The latest yeah. something related to you, you should know. If they keep on digging, you should be what is capital adequacy ratio, something what is there now. If you're done in banking, then you should have seen trend and progress. You should have seen financial stability, because we are the regulators. So yes. something like that is area. So it also makes you very confident. You know, if you know it, there. Sometimes when we are talking about it, they not ask. I have studied that, this, that. But that makes you more confident to sit there. Yes. I've read that. I've read this. But sometimes it goes blank. What you've written in a paper, it goes blank. So, but then you have the point. Take a minute or two. Don't respond immediately. Wait. Let him finish. And he knows. Is the panel knows. If you are all bachas, you know, just come for the interview. You are all scared. However, time you have gone third time, fourth time, the scare is always there. Yes. In my career at every level, there is a scare. Yes. It is only organization we don't have smooth promotion. Every level we have interviews, and interviews, interviews. Yeah. and we have exams also. See, mm -hmm. to do the big jump, so there also you have exams. Then you have interview cut off point. Then everywhere it is interview. There is only organization. Mm. So wait for a minute, assimilate that, and start in the, in the mind. Start interacting. What all this? I can take that. I can say this. I can relate. And don't be bombastic. Simply where you can connect. Okay, I've seen that. That point, and you just leave it out. Those answers and wait. If he knows, he'll ask you more on that area. So wait. Don't immediately jump. Mind may you make a small answer as he's asking you. Connect it. Listen to him. Don't be scared. Yes, so all the scare takes away confidence. They are not there to eat you up or rip you off. That be very because they also understand that. Yeah, and please, if you are going to RBI, read the RBI front page site. Yes, front page in RBI site, you have small small tidbits of hmm. financial market. You have on payment systems. See, these are the uh, what you say very important department of RBI, which RBI only does a payment system, financial market. Monetary policy, banking regulation. Just two two lines, something. They to understand. Oh, you don't know that much. You can't be expected to you know, read up the entire annual report. Don't have to mug up the. Don't mug up data. Mm -hmm. But punchline is required. Like what is fiscal data? You know, some 
one or two important things that monetary policy is, so what is the rate now, what is the repo rate? One or two punchline pulse of the thing, you can just, if you're fiscal, you say how much dividend was transferred, it'll be out in RTN and of course, something like that. So you'll you also know, if you're worked in that area, oh, I should know, I'm a fiscal person, I should know what was dividend transferred, I should know. I mean, your inner, you know, you feel that you want to know that, you know, because you worked in that area, so antenna click, you should know what is there and what is the banking, what is the thing going on, cap so, these important one or two, that's all. You don't have to, you know, have up to date. You can have the latest what is published or something like that. So, I don't know, poor up, you don't have to mug up and do all that. So, yeah. Very, very, very intelligently you study for the interview. That is it. So thank you, ma'am. Uh, so I'll just repeat for uh, the students, please don't wait. As ma'am said, uh, your learning will not go to waste. So keep preparing and all the best uh, for your results and all the best for the interview phase. Uh, we'll be uh, there to help you in your preparation for uh, interviews. We will conduct mock interviews. So you can enroll with us uh, uh, for this uh, guidance and we'll start as soon as uh, you know, uh, September itself. Um, so you can visit our website for more details. You'll also find it in the description box related to that. Uh, thank you so much, ma'am, for uh, taking out time for coming on this platform. So nicely explaining. Uh, so, uh, you know, in simple words, like all the reports are, like that you've presented all the information in a very nice, uh, simple manner for us to understand. I'm sure this is... Uh, very, very useful. It's been very useful for the students. So once again, thanks from the entire team of iExambi for and the student community for taking this time out. It was my pleasure and a nice experience. And also thank you for giving me this opportunity. I mean, we have done in colleges, but this was a different platform altogether. So it gave it also gave me an opportunity to, you know, summarize my points in how I should present it. I may not always have stuck to the point, but then sometimes, you know, so many thoughts keep crossing. So I've tried my best and I hope it's useful to your students. Yes, absolutely. And I wish them all the luck and I hope many students get it, you know, pass through the interview, I mean, the exams and interview. All the best to you and your team and your students. Thank you, ma'am. We will soon meet uh, for mock interviews with you for our students. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.